We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Caleb and Rachel on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayers as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today. Then, with the Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. O oh God, who in creating the human race willed that husband and wife should be one, join, we pray, in the bond of inseparable love, Caleb and Rachel, your servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become by your grace witnesses to charity itself through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to God's Word and Sacred Scripture. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. 
But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to the whole house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. What a beautiful day it is today to be here with Caleb and Rachel on their wedding day. God has blessed them with a beautiful fall day. And um, what a beautiful gift for such a beautiful couple. It is always a gift to be here, and I always cheat and bring my gift to the wedding so that you all know that I didn't get them a blender. (laughs) And Rachel was talking last night about how excited she was for the wedding today because she's marrying Caleb and because she wanted to know what the gift was going to (laughs) be. Because when you do weddings with college graduates, about half the people here have been to one of my weddings, so they always know I'm going to bring a gift. So when it comes their turn, they're like, I wonder what he's going to give us. And it gets harder and harder because the crowd is the same, so I can't just keep giving the same gift, right? So I came up with a special one for you all. And it's all your all's fault because you all chose this gospel. Okay, and in the gospel today... There's a perfect gift in here that goes with the gospel that you chose. If you were to guess what was in this bag, based on the gospel that you chose, what would you guess? (laughs) They seem so far away. (laughs) What is it? It's a salt lamp. Is that not perfect? (laughs) A salt lamp. I mean, perfect, right? Now, have y'all ever seen one of those before? Do you have one in your home already? Well, now you do. So, when you put one of these salt lamps in in your home, what is it really supposed to do? Did it come with directions, he says? What does a salt lamp do? Somebody help them out. What does a salt lamp do? Huh? It provides balance. It's like some aura thing, right? I mean, it's not going to put out a whole lot of light. But there's some kind of like fume that comes off of it that's supposed to bring peace to your home, okay? So it's not as much about light as as is it about peace. Now, I was thinking about this for their wedding gift, and I was thinking... You know, the reading says that you all must be light. You all must be salt. I will promise you that after knowing Caleb for, what, about four and a half years now? Yeah, about four and a half years. And getting to know Rachel in the last year, that these two can indeed be salt and light. And we live in times, we live in a world where we need salt and we need light. We live in dark times. The whole institution of marriage is being destroyed by the devil. And salt is a preservative, right? You know that, right? Shake your head, yes. Even if you you don't know, just shake your head, yes. Okay. So salt is a preservative. And so every time that a couple gets married, God is counting on that couple to preserve the sanctity of marriage to show to the world his design for marriage. And I have no doubt, I have no doubt that Caleb and Rachel will be able to do that. That they will be a light. Now, like that salt light that you have there, it works very subtly. Like when you plug that in, you're not going to say, oh my gosh, do you smell that light? It just kind of subtly does its thing, right? You don't even recognize that it's there. You don't even smell it. But all of a sudden, you're at more peace, right? And so, 
as you all get married today, I hope that you all can do that, that you can subtly, right, change the world, that you can subtly bring light into darkness because we live in dark times. You will do that by the way that you love one another. In the first reading from Genesis, we hear about how God thought it wasn't good for a man to be alone, and so he created him a partner, right? A partner. Last night at the table that I sit at the rehearsal dinner, the last thing I did before I left was I asked the people who were sitting at the table, what do you think that Rachel and Caleb do well together? And they all agreed. They all said they complement each other. He brings her down from that cloud that she lives in. She brings him out of that cave that he tries to live in. And they complement one another. And they do. They really do. I have watched them, sat with them, when I have asked them some very difficult questions. And neither time, never, never did one of them leave the other one out to dry. They would help each other. They would support each other and encourage each other and respect each other as we talked about the deepest things in their lives, about God and about relationships and about family and about all those things that are so important. So they do complement each other well. In the second reading, we talk about what can separate us from the love of God. And there are lots of things that can separate us from the love of God. But if your lives and your hearts are open and ready today, God bestows on you a special gift, His grace, the sacrament of marriage. And He says, because of this sacrament, because of this relationship, you can do this, and you can glorify Me as long as you keep Me in the center of your life. Then you will be a light to the world. Then you will be salt to the earth. So the devil does not want that to happen. The devil wants to separate them. But he can't, can he? No. No, he cannot. Okay? Because you all are not alone in your married life. You have God at the center. That's why we come to this church today to begin your married life because you know that it's important to have God at the center of your life. You are also not alone in the fact that you have these people, your family and your friends, who have gathered here with you to not only be a part of this day, but to be a part of your married life. When you all came into the church, most of you all, (laughs) Ross, most of you all got a gift from me. It was a little piece of glass. Everybody got one? If you didn't get one, there's a bowl or two of them back there in the back, so make sure you get one on your way out. This is my gift to you, and this is ultimately your gift them. Maybe you got them a blender, okay? (laughs) But what I'm going to encourage is that you take this stone, this glass stone, you take it home with you and you make it your Rachel and Caleb stone. And you make it your Rachel and Caleb prayer stone. So you put this someplace where you see it every day the rest of your lives. And every day when you see this stone, you do what? You say a prayer. You pray that Caleb and Rachel are still a light in the world, that they are salt of the earth, that they are still living together the way that God intended them to live together, that they are glorifying God God by every thought, by every word, and by every action that they do as husband and wife. If you all do that, if they continue to pray well together, then God indeed will be glorified by your lives together as husband and wife. So today we give thanks to God that out of all the people in the world, He has drawn you together as husband and wife. You do complement each other very well. You love each other very deeply. But you know, they know, and I know that today is just the beginning of the rest of your life. Don't forget how to love each other well. Don't forget how to complement each other well. Don't forget to be light to the world and salt for the earth. Caleb and Rachel.
you have come together into the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a special seal. Christ abundantly blesses this love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated in holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of this church, I ask you to state your intentions. Caleb and Rachel, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared, as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God, and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church. We are. We are. Very good. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, then join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Caleb, take you, Rachel. I, Caleb, take you, Rachel. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Rachel, take you, Caleb. I, Rachel, take you, Caleb. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor to love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Caleb and Rachel, may the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless, O Lord, these rings, which we bless in your name, so that those who wear them may remain faithful to each other, abide in peace and in your will, and live always in mutual charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Rachel, receive this ring. Rachel, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Caleb, receive this ring. Caleb, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. God has given us His promises in the Word of Scripture. Rachel and Caleb have given their promises to each other in their marriage. This hour of promise is also a time of prayer. Promise of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, You have chosen us and given us Your love, the power of the Holy Spirit in our very midst. Hear our prayers today and always keep us open. May our faith issue forth in action, our love show itself in our deeds, and our hope always give us courage. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free, you had us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Caleb and Rachel, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Just ask that you would extend a hand and blessing over this newly married couple, please. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and willed that their union be crowned by your blessing, we humbly beseech you for these, your servants, who are joined today in the marriage covenant. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Rachel, and upon Caleb, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may be known for the integrity of their conduct and be recognized as virtuous parents. In happiness may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. And after a happy old age, together with the family and friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, as Caleb and Rachel have offered the sign of peace to their parents, they would invite you to offer the sign of peace to those around you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find its growth in these your servants, and that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you and your children. Amen. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless all you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Caleb and Rachel Brand.
I was only walking through your neighborhood Saw you loud on honey in the cold I stood anywhere I go, there you are Anywhere I go, there you are I've been getting used to waking up with you I've been getting used to waking up here Everything is fine Feel the lightness in my step You're miles away but I still feel you Anywhere I go, there you are Anywhere I just wanted to start off by saying um, You know, thank everyone for coming today uh, I know people have come from far and wide just off the top of my head, I think we've got people here from South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Kansas, Colorado, Washington, D.C., Florida, California, and I probably left somebody out. Indiana. 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 <laughs> you can never forget Indiana when you're in Lexington, Kentucky, that's for sure. So, um, but, I, but I did want to mention that, um, let me see what my next paragraph says I want to mention. Oh, how could I forget this? Everybody in this room, and even in the room in the back, you're, you're part of a kind of an elite 200 people. You're the top 200 people in the new Jones brand family that have been, uh, <laughs> and you know, saying you're the top 200 is good, but a lot of you are probably thinking, where do I fit in the top 200? I'm in the top 10, or I'm in the 180 range. So Lisa doesn't even know I did this, but if you look under your salad plate, you'll find a number. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, everybody should know where they stand, really. So, but, but in all seriousness, I, I do want to extend a special recognition to Joe and Jane Brand. What table are they at? Even over there, they are. Lisa and I really in. Lisa and I really enjoyed getting to know Joe and Jane and all their kids uh, during the courtship of Caleb and Rachel. And as a follower of the bride, kind of the stereotypical, and Caleb might have been aware of some of this, but I've watched him a lot and how he treats my daughter. And seeing him treat her with respect, and I should say probably even a lot of patience, uh, is really a testament to the parenting of Joe and Jane and the example that they've set for him. So. I appreciate that, and thanks so much. And we look forward to spending a lot of time with the brands going forward. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you are aware already, but about 29 years ago, Lisa and I stood in this very room hosting our own wedding reception. Um, yeah. So, you know, it brings us a really a unique joy to look out and see so many faces that were here 29 years ago. It's, it's really very cool. Uh, and 29 years is a long time. And, you know, over 29 years, lots of things change. You know, families multiply, friends come and go. And, you know, and sadly, there's a lot of faces that aren't here that were here 29 years ago. But I know anyone that's, that's passed since then would be thrilled tonight to know that Rachel and Caleb found each other and are going to have a life together. And I just know in heaven tonight, there's a little corner of heaven with just lots of smiling faces 
and tears of joy for Rachel and Caleb. And yeah. So really, what, what better place for them to start their new life together than, than here in Spindle Top Hall? Um, and I would invite all of you to, through the course of the night, seek them out, offer them some love and advice. You know, and my advice to them would be, you know, enjoy every minute, not only just tonight, which will be easy to do probably, but, you know, uh, every minute, every month, every year for the rest of your life, really make an effort to treasure each other because before you know it, You'll have grown kids, they'll be getting married. And, um, and you'll be standing here, Caleb, maybe doing what I'm doing right now. But um, so in closing, I was, I'm going to make one statement that I know in this crowd I really probably don't have to make. Let's try to have a lot of fun tonight and make a lot of new memories for the newest Mr. and Mrs. Brand. Thanks. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Julia, Rachel's younger sister, and I would like to thank all of you for coming out tonight. I know my dad already hit on that, but we have people from all over the country, and it's really special to have everyone in one place to celebrate the lovely bride and groom. Um, so tonight is a really special night. It's going to create a lot of memories that you guys will have for a lifetime, and I'm really excited to be a part of it tonight and be standing here with you celebrating it. Rachel, we both have been looking forward to this day since as long as I can remember. And I am very happy to be standing next to you as your maid of honor. I want to start off by bragging a little bit on Rachel. She is um, the person I've looked up to my whole life. She is always, um, she always knows the right thing to say. She always is a good friend. She stands up for what she believes in and she knows how to pick a right guy. <laughs> Although I'm really glad to say that you finally realized he liked you because one day Rachel called me and she said, yeah, this guy just keeps asking me out on all these dates and I'm at work and I look horrible and I just go with them and I don't know, I guess he likes me, I'm not really sure. And I was like, <laughs> I said, I don't think he just wants to take you on dates to hang out with you. <laughs> I guess she finally got the hint after a while. Um, I'm very thankful that you were persistent with her because <laughs> it took her a little while to catch on, but you guys are here now, so. <laughs> you have truly made her the happiest I have ever seen her because all she does is talk about you and she lights up the room when she talks about you. Um, although you are a man of few words, Caleb. <laughs> they are still heard through Ra Rachel's constant talking. <laughs> That is, some <laughs> that is something I really love about you guys. You are really different, yet you still make this partnership work so well. We are happy to welcome you to our very crazy family, Caleb. You fit in nicely. <laughs> With that being said, I want to raise a glass to the happy couple. <laughs> this will be the journey of your lives, and everyone is so happy to be a part of it with you. All right, good evening. Everyone in the back, good? Good, all right. So I'm, my name is Jonathan Brand. I'm Caleb's uh, older brother, and his whole life he has always looked up to me. And <laughs> and a perfect example of that is tonight he, exact, he decided to wear the exact same thing as me, so. I'm really glad you guys laughed at that. My jokes just get worse after this. So. so I've known Rachel as long as they've been dating, and over time she's become part of the family. She has been training Caleb these last several years, and I think we can all agree that uh, she's done a good job for what she had to work with. <laughs> However, 
Caleb has discreetly been training Rachel over all these years, and she probably hasn't realized it till right now. <laughs> a few years ago, Caleb had the courage to invite Rachel over to my house to watch a UK basketball game. It was a March Madness game, and they were playing Wichita State. So for those that have never watched a game with Caleb and me, we create quite the stressful env environment. <laughs> we yell at the TV. We act like we know more about, we act like we know more about basketball than Coach Cal. <laughs> we celebrate the big plays, and yes, we throw the occasional pillow after a bad play. All of this was very overwhelming for Rachel, as any normal human being would react to that <laughs> environment. It got so bad, at one point, my wife Amy had to pull Rachel aside and said, don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> UK went on to win that game, and the next week, I believe they were playing North Carolina, and not only did Rachel come back, she was riding in there with us. <laughs> she mastered the pillow throw. Perfect form. Could probably play quarterback for Louisville this year. Let's raise our glasses to the newlyweds. Caleb and Rachel, we wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. Uh, I just want to say thank you all for coming out. It really means a lot to Rachel and I and our families that everyone decided to come out here and support us. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys and have fun tonight.
sing a big round of applause. Take a bus, we're gonna go downtown together, the two of us. Oh, one of these nights, honey, you and I, we're gonna be the ones that float on by. We're gonna float until forever, you and I. So if you wanna make it rain, you make it pour. You started flying towards the sun, you wanted more, more, more. And Everybody wants to know where she's been I don't want to know 